Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Matic is currently holding above our upper support area. I put onto the chart a couple of days ago, I think it was, or yesterday. Um, so we have the orange support zone. It's defined between 99.9 cents and $1.09 pretty much, you know, with additional support at $1.06 and $1.03. This is the range here between the 78.6 and 38.2 uh, retracement levels between uh, of this white wave one yeah so the distance of circle wave one the retracements of the same they are here highlighted in orange and that's based on the scenario that the larger degree wave two could have finished here on tuesday with the tuesday dip yeah the idea is that here we had a five wave pattern to the upside technically complete you may remember that and we had five waves complete also on the smallest time frames and that typically, okay, it doesn't tell you it will dip, but that a dip is likely and there is higher risk. That happened very quickly though, within a day and all the losses were recovered. That makes me assume that possibly wave one of the larger third wave completed here, the wave two of the larger third wave completed and this wave one here, yeah, Circle wave one and circle wave two are now unfolding in the white count. So this is sort of the scenario we're dealing with in the white structure. That means that wave two here that bottomed on the 5th of March on that Tuesday, it was quite shallow. But again, we have a bullish market. In bullish markets, pullbacks tend to be shallow. In a more bearish market, I wouldn't necessarily believe it could be a wave two but we have to adjust with our analysis to the market context and the wave two can be shallow, I say it all the time. That's still a bit unreliable though. So we need further evidence that wave three of three is already unfolding. So the next move up here would be circle wave three of wave three. I cannot give you a target really for circle wave three yet because I need a low in place of circle wave two. And we can define a target then once we see a breakout above circle wave one, which is at around $1.175, so 1.175 to 1.18. A sustained break above that level would suggest that wave three of three is unfolding. Um, it is possible at the moment that wave two of uh, the larger third wave is still unfolding. So circle wave two here, still unfolding and could test the support area. I would prefer that because this was again for wave two, a very, very shallow pullback. And currently it looks a bit bear flaggish here. Okay, so if you take a look at the detailed count, it looks a little bit like a bearish flag, but that can change quickly. I mean, but it's um, possible. Looks a bit like a wedge pattern here that might be unfolding. They often, well, they tend to break down, but I don't use these patterns very often. They are very unreliable especially in bullish crypto markets, they actually sometimes break to the upside. So, um, but yeah, it looks still like a bit like a bear flag, but it's a three wave move down. Had we seen five waves down, which we don't seem to see five waves down anymore in this market. So it's three waves down that keeps the door open directly, you know, for direct higher prices. So, but that's still a support area that is relevant. Support areas are not necessarily targets. Yeah. They are only support. So as long as we are holding 99.9 .9 cents, the white count remains valid and would be confirmed with a break above that $1.18 level. Okay, what happens if we break below 99.9 .9 cents? It would be a reset um, of wave two. So the larger wave two that possibly bottomed on the 5th of March. So it's actually the yellow count here. Suggests that the last rally was just a high B wave, but it doesn't look like a clear three wave move up to me. It looks more like an impulse. So an impulsive looking B wave, hmm, difficult to interpret. So still though, I need to keep that door open because especially in bullish markets, we get a lot of impulsive looking B waves. Okay, so, um, but then again, <laughs> the move down was only in three waves. So I cannot strongly favor the yellow count at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I might, my take is as long as we're holding orange, it's, my, it's the white count that's in control. And I consider it primarily, okay, below orange, below the orange box, it's the yellow count, basically just a, a deeper wave to pull back. Both counts are bullish, both scenarios bullish, especially as long as the lower support region is holding, we should see 
yellow wave three here get to $1.71 and ultimately obviously the entire structure should climb higher and uh, I still look at sort of round about $10 as a bull market projection and um, yeah I mean that can still change that's why we take it level by level with these altcoins yeah and the levels are always clear and the parameters should be defined so you need to know what to look out for hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye